All right, Shalom. All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rosh. To the elders, to the uh, elders and apostles, of their millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations. All they like to Akim, walk with him, uh, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. I got these two clips. I'm going to let play them get some scriptures. You know, the Heavenly Father can send down spirits of insanity to make people do horrible things. And this man, I believe, he killed his girlfriend and his girlfriend's child, and he tried to kill his own son that he stabbed, but the son was able to survive. And he was basically just being an absolute lunatic in the courtroom, you know, completely. And I got the other video. Where's that? I'm going to pull it up in a minute. Teen screams during bond hearing. So I'm going to let that play as well. But let's let some of this play. Mr. O'Neill, you need to speak audibly so that the jury can hear what you're saying. Yes, ma'am, I haven't begun yet. Now we're talking to my father. He showed you a fraudulent recording. Where they alleged that I beat Kenyon Barron to death. <laughs> he talked about Mr. Khalil Brown, my neighbor, who stayed across the street. Across the street. But if Mr. Khalil Brown was a help to them proving me guilty beyond reasonable doubt, they would have called Mr. Khalil Brown. But I called Mr. Khalil Brown to be a witness for me. And I didn't ask him to lie about one thing that he saw that night. I asked him to tell the jury exactly what he saw that night. And you have to ask yourself why that is. Because he's playing a fraudulent damn recording of me beating Kenyatta Barron 15 damn times when that did not happen. And like I told you earlier, you will know the truth whether in this trial or the next one. Better believe it. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, goddamn now. All right, Mr. O'Neill, please. <laughs> now, this is, you know, this Jake is bugged the fuck out, man. Now, okay, he he was, I'm assuming, normal, as much as a normal nigga could be. You know, she probably got to fucking around on him. He raged out and killed her. And this man figured in his mind, you know, okay, let me play the insanity role. Maybe they'll let me off, but he's really into it, you know. Hey, this goes to show y'all, man. The, hey, the Lord, hey, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, yet yeah, not just literally and physically in body, but mentally. All right, because this nigga's broken in the mind. That's why his hair is up like that. That's why he's playing, pretending this role. He doesn't know what his spirit is through, y'all. His spirit is through. He knows he's going to jail for the rest of his time here in Babylon, and his mind shattered. So he had to put on this portrayal. We got another one. Hey, the Lord keeps the, uh, our uh, our sanity, the faculties of our mind, not only our flesh, the physical, you know, vehicle that walks you around in this son of a bitch, but also your mind. You have to pray to the Lord that you be kept a sound mind, because if you lose your fucking mind, you are, you gone, you go, you you're gone. All right. <clears throat> Second Timothy one and was that seven. For Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We have to have a sound mind in this truth. Well, this is what Babylon will do to you, man. Bug you the fuck out. How you your hair out here looking like Mark Simpson shit. You know? Absolutely, absolute madness. Absolute insanity. All right, let's look at another clip. Another Jake bugging. Because he doesn't want to accept the reality of the uh of his actions. 
damn commercial. It's going to be the hardest. Stupid ass punk black bitch. All right. Accused of murdering his teenage roommates is locked up in jail and a judge is not letting him out. When Damon Kemp was wheeled into the courtroom this morning for his bond hearing, he started screaming and the victim's families couldn't handle it. New Six Jerry Askin is following the bizarre developments. Jerry, I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Eric, yes, bizarre for sure, and I'll tell you, his reaction to his charges and to his bunch that is some say was pretty dramatic. Tonight, Damon Kemp is sitting behind bars in Volusia County on no bond. In court today, we saw tears all the way around from friends and family involved. There is no answer as to why or how. Narissa Carter had a front row seat today in court, grieving days after her 19-year-old son, Trey Ingram, was murdered. It got so tough, at one point, she had to walk out. <laughs> And like any mother who's forced to grieve, it hurts. Dads and moms need to hug their children. Because you might get a phone call like we did and you won't get a chance to hear their voice anymore. Meantime, back inside the courtroom, we watched as Damon Kemp was wheeled inside, screaming and calling on a higher power. God! 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 His facial expressions and his mood seemed all... Nigga bugged out, man. You know, once again, he's probably trying to get the insanity plea by acting a fool, but that spirit overtook him. You know, 10 days ago, he was just a normal nigga playing his Xbox, and then he got into some beef with his boys and shot them down. And now look at his life. Now look what he got to do. <clears throat> hey, this ain't. Hey, people think that this is fake. You know, you can. Hey, people literally, spirits will overtake people and cause them to do things that are completely irrational. Let me see. Uh, let's do this. Oh. Um, so, like, I want to get the example out of, I believe, Luke. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is one of them, Matthew 17. We can start, let's view the chapter, maybe 13. Matthew 17 and 13 says the disciples understood that he said, okay, so I can, now let me start, uh, actually 14, Luke 17, 14. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. He oft, oft times, so can, for oft times, he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Then Yahushua answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. So this man right here, hey, this man's son, it says he had a, 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 a he was lunatic, he had a crazy demon on that would cause him to do irrational things, like leaping into bodies of water or jumping into the middle of a fire, unannounced. Which this kid right here, it looks like he got a little spirit on him. You know, she's trying to, you know, he's out there screaming for God, he can kill people. You know, bugging. But they they going to get him together in prison. All right. When they grab him by his cheeks, he's going to be screaming for the left. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. He's going to be doing all that, too. You know, when they get that young man together, unfortunately. You know, this is back in 2018. He probably a woman now. You know, he probably got a wig on named Bonisha. You know, Quandon Ronisha. You know, walk around in there. Let me take it back. Verse 18, it says, And Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil. And departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. All right, so this actually happens in the world, y'all. There are people that get taken under demonic possession and do things that they, under normal circumstances, would not. All right, this is very real. So when we're dealing out here with these people, sometimes you have to take that into consideration. No matter of reasoning with them, it's going to work. You're not going to be able to logically break some down to somebody because some of these people have demons on them, you know, quite literally. You see it on a lot of the homeless. You see it on a lot of the homeless. They'll be bugged out, just moseying all through their days. It's bugged the hell out. His charges and his fate. I do believe that there is probable cause for the arrest. Kemp's family and friends in court today shed tears. All as Trey's family got pretty vocal, even having to be escorted out. <laughs> they looking like, what the fuck? Deputies say Kemp was arrested Thursday after he was tied to an armed home invasion. Then deputies say they learned he murdered Trey Ingram and Trey's friend Jordan Payton. 
Trey's family say he was an up-and-coming boxer working to get back in school at BCU. He was helping the suspect get back on his feet by letting him stay with him rent-free, being the giver. Yeah, that, hey, that's why you don't help niggas. Hey, y'all, don't be housing no nigga, man. Don't be housing no nigga, man. Yo, don't be don't be housing niggas, man. Fuck that. You you house Aki before you house niggas. The Trey's mom said he's always been. Family told us the victims and the suspects all live together, and now it hurts. I know more, cause he smoked their ass. Don't be housing no nigga. You know them Jake should have them Jake should knew better. This nigga should have knew better than to let this. Kid stay with him, you know, probably shot him over some uh, Probably shot him over the Xbox controller, man Who, who fucking knows, you know Let me see. Hey, this ain't, hey We walking down What was that, uh Satan doesn't have to always directly Afflict us, he can hop on these people to cause them to do bugged out things all right, he doesn't always he doesn't always have to come directly at us. He can hop on one of these bugged out motherfuckers. Uh, chapter. Let me think for a second. <coughs> oh, first Peter. <coughs> That's locked here. First Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil has a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Alright, one of the ways that Satan devours people is by demonic possession, and he'll cause them to do egregious things, things that are not normal. And this that boy, these two dudes was devoured by Satan, and they did things that are were not normal. Alright, so we gotta be worried that especially in these last days of times, the closer we get to the end, these motherfuckers gonna be bugging out, y'all. And Satan is going to take full control of these motherfuckers' bodies. When they, when they can't eat no more, they can't go to school no more, they their job, they're going to bug all the way the fucking hell out. <clears throat> so I just want to do this video. You know, spiritual possession is very real. You know, don't take it for granted. Don't underestimate it. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of it when these people uh, bug the fuck out and are killing each other in the streets. All right, so I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, 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 the water to the elders and apostles of Gabriel so peace blessings and citations to all the elect Akim walk walking learning and teaching the truth of the 30 I'm saying hello all